She got pays and gotta be one up in her daddy's room. Was it okay, so what is up, YouTube? White fan back in with another video. In today's video, as you guys tell me, the title is another story time video. So, this video is about um, actually going to meet the Undertaker. Now, if you guys didn't know, um, vlog wise, my uh, video or, or my uh, vlog of meeting the Undertaker from like I think February or March 2018 is my most viewed video on my channel. Um, it's like what I guess quote unquote gets my channel like the most views per month. Um, I think right now at like 46, 47,000, so we're closing in on that uh, 50,000 vlog, um, like viewed vlog, which is insane to me. Um, but yeah, so that's the point. So today's video, as you guys tell the title, is my experience, is like a story time about, or story time slash experience about, um, meeting the Undertaker. So this was, I could, I could probably honestly go back and look. Okay, so it was actually March 1st, 2018, so a little over two uh, years ago, I'm gonna say. So if you guys didn't know, um, I live on the outskirts of, of Knoxville, or Knox County, where, um, Kalen Jacobs or Kane is the male. So, like, like, I did pretty much, like, all of his, like, um, uh, campaign signings or whatever. Of course, I've met Kane, like, a gazillion times, but, um, this time was, like, way different for me. So, if you guys, like, um, go to signings or, like, autographs or, like, just, like, love to meet wrestlers, etc., you know Undertaker is one of the hardest guys to meet. Like, hands down, it's probably, I would say he's probably harder to meet than Vince McMahon or The Rock is, because The Rock nowadays, um, you can catch him, like, I like, um, movie premieres or something, but The Undertaker only does like one to two signings a year, maybe, and, and like two's max, like he doesn't do much more than that, so um, just being able to meet the guy is just like well in itself, so um, I'm gonna say this was probably Jan, no, probably like February, it was probably just like a couple weeks before it happened, I'm gonna say, so I can't remember who it was who DM'd me or texted me or sent me a link or something saying that um, um, Kane or, or uh, Kalen Jacobs was bringing the Undertaker in for like a signing, and I was like, I don't know if I can do it, because at that time I wasn't walking, and um, at that time I didn't like have any, um, like, like an income of any kind or level, so I didn't know how I was gonna like, um, be able to uh, afford it or whatever, but I was able to make it happen, so um, Originally, he tweeted or uh, uh, Kane uh, tweeted out that there was only I think like 65 um, VIP or uh, premium VIP I guess you could say tickets available. And when I tell you the price for this, it's insane. Like how che how cheap this was. Um, so I was actually able to get one relatively quick. Um, I think okay. So the the um, uh, premium VIP was your photo op and, and two autographs. Okay. So, it was um, your photo op, which my picture turned out pretty good, I would say. Um, I posted it right here. I'm actually I, uh, pretty proud of it. Um, it's like the only picture where I'm like, like not like full and smiling that I actually like. Um, but yeah, um, so it was the photo op and then the two autographs. Um, one autograph was an autograph of your, like, an, like an item of your choice. Then the other one was actually um, like a, a promotional like campaign poster that, that says uh, the Gideon Jacobs for mail and then I came on it. So that was pretty cool. And there was like a whole bunch of people who I guess like um, um, scammed the tickets or whatever because there was this like company who bought, I think it was like two to three hundred tickets, so pretty much all of them, um, and had had like this whole table like filled up with stuff for them to sign, which in my opinion was stupid. Why would they let them do that? And like when like uh, why would Kane let them come in or Glenn or uh, whatever you wanna call him? Or why would they let them come in and like have this much stuff to sign, knowing that they have fans, even though it did help his campaign. So selling them was good, but it just meant that like people who wanted to meet them for years couldn't, which did suck, of course I wasn't in that boat, so it didn't really apply to me, but for people actually who actually like have, have been huge fans of them and wanted to meet them, they couldn't. So um, I did actually end up getting the premium VIP, and it was I think $112 after tax and everything. What? Like that's insane. You cannot meet the Undertaker for under $400 right now, or like any time. Um, the cheapest I think I've seen his photo op was like $250, $270, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I ended up um, getting and getting a picture with him and the or with Undertaker and Kane together. That's like com that was like completely unheard of. So that was pretty cool. Um, being like one of a sp specific few that were actually able to get that picture. And then th th they did have like the regular VIP, I think it was, which was like sixty or seventy, which was just a photo op. But you guys know I'm a collector, so I had to get something signed by them. Um, 
So that actually came, I was, um, it was at, well, I don't even know what it was at, like some random building. It was like in the middle of Knoxville, like kind of like a sketchy part. Um, we actually went and, and the line was already super long. A uh, Brock Lesnar guy was actually there. Um, the WWE's biggest fan was actually there. So it was kind of, so it was cool um, seeing like, I guess, uh, people like go to a bunch of shows in Knoxville to meet him. That just shows you like, how like big of a deal uh, Undertaker being there was. So the line actually moved pretty quick. Um, I think we got there probably, I'm gonna say an hour, hour and a half before it started, or probably two hours, can't remember, and we, we, we weren't like, like super far back either. So the line actually moved uh, pretty quick. So we got in or whatever. Um, you couldn't, I, I think you couldn't have your phones out recording or, or you couldn't record or something, but I was actually able to get um, like a, sm a small clip. Um, of course, I was recording on my phone, so I wasn't like able to like zoom in or level on them. So you can kind of see them. But yeah, so we actually get up there. Um, I had a postal, which was Kane and the Undertaker from I think 98. Um, and they were actually both supposed to sign it in silver, but I guess Undertaker didn't heal the guy or didn't heal me say silver. Kane did, so you can see um, Kane's autograph plain as day but the Undertaker's you have to get like right up next to it because he did sign in a black sharpie on top of like a shadow type thing I don't know it's weird um so that kind of bummed me out there but I was like it is what it is it's still an Undertaker autograph you can still see it's there oh no he signed it in uh, navy blue which actually kind of makes it worse um but yeah he signed that um they honest like if you ever if, if you've ever met Kane he, he like asks you how you are whatever shakes your hand Undertaker, I don't know if he just didn't heal me because I walked up and um, as you guys can see in the picture, I was between them and I was like, hey, how are you guys? And can not actually say good? I don't think Undertaker hold me, which was a bummer. It would have been super cool to have a tiny conversation with the Undertaker, but what are you going to do? He was probably he was probably stressed too. Um, and yeah, I met them or whatever. I actually also got the um, uh, promotional postal sign, which isn't that big. Um, they, it looks amazing. It's signed in like a navy, a navy pin. Or Sharpie, so so that shows up really nice, and there's like a red, white, and blue on the postal, so if the navy it pops, or actually the same color, but yeah, um, that was super cool. The only thing is, like I said, I wish I could have spoke to the Undertaker longer, or even just spoke to him in general. I don't even think I shook his hand. Now that I'm thinking about, I didn't. But yeah, so that's my experience of meeting the Undertaker. If you guys ever get the chance to meet him, um, I highly recommend. I'm hoping that. Um, when when Kane uh, actually um, runs for like a re-election or whatever, he brings more wrestlers Hill because I've been able to meet him a couple times. I met the Undertaker when he brought him, and then I met Daniel Bryan when he brought him. So I was able to meet a couple wrestlers, and then since it is for like a quote-unquote charity thing, it is for his campaign. Oh, also met um, Gold Dust, but um, uh, since it is for his campaign thing, he does charge relatively cheap. I met I met Kane and Daniel Bryan for twenty dollars altogether. Like, that's crazy. Um, if you guys live anywhere close to like Knoxville, Tennessee, and um, like when Kane starts like um, running for like a re-election or whatever, and he does bring Wrestlers Hill, and, and like it's a wrestler you like really want to meet, I highly recommend it. They're super organized, and oh, also met Rusev. I'm just thinking of all the Joe people. I actually met a Kane and Rusev for free on the exact same day. But yeah, um, so if you guys ever like. Um, uh, if he brings some, someone in your close, highly recommend it. It's super cheap and it's always super organized. Kane is always a nice guy. Anyone, I don't think I've ever heard anyone ever say anything bad about Kane. He, he's just like not super talkative. Um, you kind of have to start the conversation. But other than that, he's super cool. Um, all in all, me and Kane, I was like, it was a pretty cool experience. Like I said, like a once in a lifetime experience, especially for how cheap I met them both. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, comment down below and tell me what your, I don't know, best experience meeting a wrestler was. See y'all guys on this video. Come like, subscribe, pop up, good day. Ain't even had to blink it up, I grabbed the K. Took my number out of shorty phone. We gonna be okay. Watch it 23, live